What's going on guys? Welcome back to the House of Wrinkles. It's Saturday, January the 23rd, and it's puppy time. So yesterday we took Zoe to North Jackson Animal Clinic. A uh, big shout out to them. These guys are just awesome down there. So she, her temperature was down to 99.2. It did get down to 98.6, then it went back up to 99.2. So we took her on down there and she was not ready. So Dr. Smith said, y'all just go ahead and bring her tomorrow, being today, Saturday. Normally they don't do C-sections on Saturday and they definitely don't on Sundays. But he said, go ahead and bring her down here and we'll just make an exception for y'all. So they're actually gonna do the C-section for us today. And we are very thankful for that. You know, they usually close at 12 o'clock. He said, I'd rather just do it today and just stay late than to have to come in on Sunday, which I understand that completely. So we're very grateful for that. Amber is down there feeding all the babies. We're getting ready for the day. It's, it's a little after seven o'clock, something like that. But anyhow, this is the worst part about it all. So I hate it when people tell me I can't eat. And let's go find Zoe. She is jonesing to eat. Baby girl, I know, I'm so sorry. I hate it, I hate it for you, girl. I know you wanna eat, but we're about to get these things out of you. So just like with any other surgery, you can't eat or drink from midnight on. So she's she's dying to eat, I know, and I hate it for her. Uh, that's, that's the worst part about it to me. But anyhow, so we're fixing to load her up. Once Amber gets done feeding the babies, we're gonna load her up and head down there and hopefully we'll have the babies today. All right, guys, so we're here at North Jackson Animal Clinic. It's halfway through the day. They've had her all morning, just letting it progress a little bit. And also, he's they're offering to stay after hours to do this for us. And once again, I'm so thankful for that. It keeps us from having to do this on a Sunday, which is uh, it's not a good thing. But anyhow, she's good to go. They're doing the procedure, and we're fixing to go in here, and we're going to have some puppies. So next shot is going to be puppies. All right, guys, so we're back home. We had five beautiful babies, three girls and two boys, and they're doing good. They're inside. Amber's taking care of them, letting them feed, cleaning them up for the first time. It's very important that they get their mother's milk the first 24 hours. And that brings me to another point. We're gonna be uploading lots of videos. Amber said it in our last video. We're gonna be just overloading y'all with some videos. There's gonna be a lot of how-tos and just a lot of, just a bunch of cute cuteness, really. Uh, showing everybody the puppies uh, through their growing stages. Just, we want everyone to feel like a part of our household. We want them, we want you guys to feel like they're your puppies as well and just watch them grow with us. We appreciate everybody for watching and following us on this insemination journey. 
it's been a serious emotional roller coaster but we're finally here we got the five beautiful babies and that's all that counts as long as they're healthy i'd rather have five healthy babies than 12 unhealthy or 20 unhealthy that's all that matters around here is healthy babies anyhow y'all stay tuned be sure to hit that bell button be sure to follow us on facebook instagram and twitter subscribe if you're not subscribed and we thank you we'll see you next time <laughs>